Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to get the order analysis in Odo 16 point of sale. Even though the cash flow is the central focus of your business, analyzing sales order data is equally significant. If you do not properly analyze your order analysis, the organization won't be able to identify the growth and progress of your business. An effective order analysis can scale your business and get a clear picture of the current status of your business and what will be in the future. An effective order analysis can help you to make correct sales and marketing decisions. Manually analyzing your order analysis and business will not be an easy task. The digitalized tools will be very effective for the proper business the Odo 16 point of sale module has a powerful reporting feature that will provide deep insight into your business. So let's get into the module. The reporting tab of Odo encompasses two submenus. A single click on the reporting tab is enough to display the submenus, orders and sales details. And when you click on the reporting by clicking on the orders, you will get a clear picture of your company's data. This window shows both types of report, uh, which is quantitative and qualitative measures are available. To generate reports on various measures, you can apply different measures listed under measures like average price, delay validation, margin, product quantity, sale line count, and subtotal without discount, total, total price count. The order analysis can be analyzed in different representations like graph view and pivot view which is placed in the top right corner of the window. And graph has different representations like bar chart, line chart. In addition to the line chart view, we have also the stat view and cumulative view. And graph also provides another view of pie chart. We can also arrange the order analysis in presenting and ascending. The insert in spreadsheet button allows you to insert the sheets of graph view. The moment you click on the button, the system will furnish a new pop-up window for selecting or inserting the sheet. So you can choose the sheet from here and click on, click on confirm so that you can see that the selected sheet is now set as the window, which is of the analysis in accounting. Now, let's back to the order analysis. Apart from all these options, the sorting functionalities are also available in the Odo platform. And the window middle top right portion is specially designed to display these options. You can see filters, group by favorite and search option. The filter menu include various default and customizable options like invoiced, not invoiced, order date, and a user can also use custom filters by clicking on add custom filters. The next menu is group by option which is very useful for grouping your sale analysis reports based on various criteria. The default grouping options includes user, employee, point of sale, product, product category, order, date. And the add custom group option allows you to add more groups. Similarly, we have favorite tab that displays various menus such as save current search. And we have a default uh, favorite which is displayed here. Now let's discuss about the pivot view. So here, when you click on the pivot icon, you can see that we got the order analysis in a tabla format and which shows the measures of the order analysis and you could insert the data into the spreadsheet. Also, you can flip the axis and expand all and you can also download the order analysis and you can also do the custom filtration as well as default filtrations in the order analysis of pivot view. The user could also group by the features and also set it into favorites. 
Now you could get the order analysis of dot build and on the basis of users, employee, point of sale, products. So you can see that when you choose each of the option, you can see the difference. So currently we have selected the user that is Michelle Edmink. And you can choose the point of sale that is managed by Michelle Edmink. And you can get the products in the shop. So currently uh, Michelle Edmink has managed three uh, orders here. You can see the number of orders and the quantity as well as the total price. And when you again click on the plus icon, you can get the order date um, in terms of year, quarter, month, week, and day. And you can also get the product category. Yeah. And if you want to set the order date, you can get uh, the date. Then if you want to get the order week, you will get the week. Then if you want to again uh, get the pivot view of uh, the order analysis in terms of months, here you can see the change will be visible in the table format. And you can also set the filtration of or get the uh, information in ER. Okay. Now, if you want further uh, to add the product uh, details like the category, just click on uh, the plus icon and choose the, choose the option from the list. Now, when we go to the reporting, we get the sales details. So here we can see the start date, end date, and the point of sale, and under which uh, company the point of sale belongs to. Now, if you want to print the uh, sales details, it is possible to print by clicking the print button. Okay. So you can see that we have downloaded uh, or we have printed the sales details. So when you open the report here, you can see that there are no details other than the heading of the report. So let's check uh, how to get the reports. You can open the session and do some transaction. So set the opening balance over here. And let me add some products to the cart and you can choose the customer. Let me click on payment and you can choose the payment method and uh, uh, the customer account and yeah, here you can click on validate so that the payment is done. Now let me make the payment for this. Yeah, we can see we have done the payment and when you go to the orders and choose the payment, let me close the session. Can you go to the sales report details and click on print and you can open the sales details. So when you open the sales details here, you can see enough uh, as we have uh, done some transaction in the POS that report will be get under the sales details. So this is how we manage reports in Odoo 16 POS module.